On that note, James, aren't you, you've been spending quite a deal, quite a bit of time working with customers uh, in NHS around uh, digitizing and fire. Um, did, did you want to mention anything about that in relation to what you and Alex have just been talking about? It's all we get asked about at the moment <clears throat> within the NHS. Um, what happened was NHS Digital, which is the, you can guess what the NHS Digital is, the digital section of uh, the NHS of, of um, um, <clears throat> required all trusts to be able to spit out um, uh, a fire message it just so happens to be a, um, an electronic discharge summary. And uh, nobody knows what fire is. Nobody knows how to use it. Everybody's asking about it and nobody <laughs> knows how to do it. Um, so um, I've been working with our customers and also with our co-creation lab that um, is something within um, Lineate uh, who they work to try and solve customers problems uh, from a, a high up level and, and also down to a um, nano level as well. And this was one of the things they picked up on creating electronic discharges for, for the NHS. It's been, it's been pretty crazy, but I've spent like the last 18 months going through it and trying to help our customers adhere to this particular demand. And uh, it's really interesting because it's hard work, but we, we're, we're getting very close and it turns out that, a lot of the times the data isn't available within the trust to actually adhere to this in the first place anywhere. So they're having to do a lot of work and, and do data mining and find the information. But yeah, fire is on the lips of everybody. Web services and fire. Everybody wants to know about it. Nobody really even knows what fire stands for when you first start talking to them or even how to spell it. Um, so it's interesting talking to customers, explaining that we are on the way there and we're slowly getting a, a band of trust together who are moving forward and, and getting it done. But that's the, the huge thing in region at the moment. Fire, fire, fire. Everything's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the same, uh, James, in terms of there have been more and more customers saying the fear. Can, can you tell me? It's, it's pronounced fire. It's okay. And, well, we're supposed to do this. I'm like, oh, so what interface do you need to connect? And I'm like, well, we're not really sure yet, but can you do no, it? No, we just want, we just yeah. want fur. Can you tell me how to do fur? I yeah. love fur. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yes, I had it last night. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> no, so, but uh, they, they, they ask, but they don't, they don't have a real use case yet, right? And so there, uh, uh, there are a handful of customers that have actually used Fire and um, in their in in production but most of them are asking because they they're told from higher ups that this is what they need and they don't even know which interface to use it for and why they need to use it but the good news is um at, at least in the corporate product we have the fire standards in place for uh, in in xml and in json and the final version came out in 7.3 so the one that they won't change constantly until um until they get it right so the 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 final version um, that is truly backwards compatible is in 7.3. And so uh, we're going to get our customers on that. Anyone who needs, uh, truly needs a fire uh, interface in production, we're gonna try to get them to the latest release so they'll be able to play with this. Um, I was actually kind of scared because I, I didn't know what it was at, at the beginning. And I had a customer ask me and I'm like, ah, well, I know it's in the latest version. Let's let me try this out. And he's like, I'm trying to connect to this fire server over here. I'm like, okay, well, I, and it looks like you're using this and I, and, and in less than 30 minutes, I got a query out to them to ask for everybody that was female and the server spit back a JSON or XML, you know, fire message. And, and I was able to parse it and see it. I was like, oh yeah, see, we did it. <laughs> I didn't know it was that easy. Of course, um, th there are more difficult things in terms of um, security and other things. This is a very open fire server letting you, you know, play with it and things like that. There's more complications to that, but the ability to just get it into uh, the fire standard, uh, grab the message that you need, put in the, the information you need and get the information back the way you needed. I, I, I was really surprised that I could do it without asking for help because I was the customer was watching me we we're in front and I was like well I, I'm doing this for my first time so I'm really sorry if it doesn't work and and it worked the first time I was really really surprised so um, it's not um, it's not impossible to do I'm sure there will be complications in real live production cases but uh, it's uh, something we can definitely make happen to all of our customers who who need it. Alex, was that a testament the, to your sharp intellect, to the, the, the ease of the engine, 
or the how well thought out the fire standard was in being developed? Oh, it, it's probably 90% me and ten, no, 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 not at all. So I'm, uh, yeah, I, I barely knew how to spell fire, but I knew since I knew how to spell fire, I knew where to find it in our products. And if he knew the uh, kind of message type that he was looking for and, and where he wanted to can, connect, uh, it, it happened really, really easily. So uh, it's a testament to the product, not me. I think one of the problems that um, both engines have had with, with fire generally has been the fact that um, the fire standard has changed so many times yeah. so quickly in the last few years. We've, we've gone from um, the, the initial setup and then the DSTU-1 and DSTU-2 and then R3 and R4. And it's, it's been fun because you've, you've got to a point where you've actually got something working and then That's they decided to... Yeah, they decided to change the the standard, and, and it's it's for a good reason. But because it's such a a new thing, and it's it's growing organically quite quite quickly, um, it's good that different parts of Rhapsody can can be released and uh, can can pick up on and, and use the different versions quite easily. So that's one of the things that I found. So I I was using. Um, DSTU three and it was working absolutely fine. Things were great, and then they said, "Right, well, we're upgrading our server now to R four. Is that okay?" And you're like, "Okay, <laughs> let's go back and try and work out um, what the issues with that are." But yeah, it's fire. Fire is fun, and fire is crazy. And I think one of the cool things is that uh, there's a lot of people that it's not James and not uh, not me that are uh, in, in, in Lineate that are attending these meetings, are a, a part of the, the standards committee, trying to figure out what to do and putting that into our product and, and making sure that it's easy for us. And so uh, there's a lot of fire expertise that's, uh, that, that we have around that is, uh, uh, that, that are much smarter than, than me that, that are thinking about these things before before our customers are even asking, which are, which is great.